Hello, I'm Matt Reddy. You may know me from smash hits such as the Beyond Humanity podcast. But I'm here today in no entertainment manner. That's why I'm going to wear these, this outfit instead. No, it doesn't. How do I edit my avatar? Okay, fine. I'm just going to have to use this avatar. Um, but I need to admit to you today that I am the founder of Aliens Anonymous, support group for people like myself who, I'll just say it, I think I believe aliens are real. I've never seen one myself, although I did have a weird uh, telepathic seemingly experience with one, which I'm happy to tell you about, or you can listen to it on the Beyond Humanity podcast. But I seem to think aliens are real and it's affecting my life. It's affecting my relationships. It's affecting how I see the world. It affects how I see the United States of America. And uh, I want to talk to other people that might be able to help me figure out what is true. If aliens are not real, Great. Just try to explain to me why Commander Fravor is such a psychotic liar, that guy. Because I believe him for what he saw. And then Bob Lazar. I mean, I I mean, once Commander Fravor and Ryan Graves and other people confirmed the alien spaceships were real, you know. Anyways, this is my problem. I need I need help. Please help me. Can you explain to me anything about reality and explain to me why Commander Fravor is either a crazy liar, as is his wing woman, Dietrich, or if aliens are real, it seems like uh, that's a problem. And so that leads me to my second thing that I'm going to have to admit as a member of Aliens Anonymous is not only do I believe basically aliens are real, the second part of that is for some reason I believe it's like the most important uh, piece of information that has ever come to planet Earth. And this again, it's affecting my relationships, it's affecting how I interact with people, that this one important piece of information is being ignored by the human race and by certain media companies. In a very disturbing way it's like it's like they're playing like ostriches with their head and like, i don't understand it anyways and for some reason i think this is important like yeah so i guess the third problem i have is that i think i'm right about point number one and number two because the dots seem to connect through ancient times through the very foundation of humanity through the very creation of corporations on our planet, to the creation of a class system, which has permeated the entire planet, which I think may just be a reflection of the alien class system. It seems that there is a penchant in our species to create a royalty class, a commoner class, and a slave class. It seems almost every single society ever created by humans has those three groups. forcing us humans to segment ourselves into these three groups, but not even letting us know that the aliens were another group playing the game. So were they the super royalty? So we've basically been living through all of history with super royalty hidden, then our human royalty, and then our commoners, and then our slaves. Don't forget the slaves. We still have, what, some 40 million people enslaved on Earth. Why is that? How? Why has humanity not been able to eliminate slavery? Is it possible that if humanity eliminated slavery, that it would force the alien race to eliminate slavery also? Because humanity would have eliminated slavery through a righteous wisdom expanding moment of realization that no being should be enslaved. And that would go like a virus through the cultures that enslave beings. It would threaten them because it would constantly be educating the populace, educating the slaves. 
about the way to earn freedom, how to liberate oneself. So, I mean, so that's the third part of my Aliens Anonymous like founding uh, opening statement. And then I'm going to turn the mic over and just I'm going to encourage you to record what you have to say and share it. And I think we'll just like have to just say this is public. Like this is not a private space. This is a public sharing. This is a public problem. Talking People are talking about who apparently believe aliens are real because of logic like myself. And then there's people that believe aliens are real because they've seen them. They've interacted with them really clearly. And I'm starting to meet these people and I'm starting to hear their stories. And I encourage such people to share theirs here in Aliens Anonymous, where you are anonymously sharing. You don't have to say who you are, but the information is being broadcast to all of humanity and all of an alienity all of alien nation, all of human nation, every alien nation, every reptile, every interdimensional, every ancestor, every dead human, every alive human. In fact, we would prefer for all our dead ancestors to read what we have to say first before we share it with the general audience of the commoners of reality. So we'll publish it first in uh, some limited ways before we put it out on the RSS feed. Already there's a couple episodes of Beyond Humanity, which is a podcast uh, I'm involved with, which is all about discussing alien disclosure. You're welcome to join that. It's sort of like a, in the same spirit of Aliens Anonymous, but we probably should have an alien Aliens Anonymous uh, podcast. So if you're interested in uh, helping facilitate something like that, please like just start doing that freely. All right. Welcome to Aliens Anonymous. What do you have to say?